All right, we are here with South Carolina head coach Boo Major. The Gamecocks in their home opener on Friday defeat number eight TCU by a final score of 11 to eight. Coach, you guys beat the weather this morning. You moved the meet up by about four hours. So all in all, with the craziness of everything, how did you think your team performed today? Well, I thought they did great. I think we, we you know, as we did last week, I think we started out a little slow. Um, I think that's a, something that we're really going to have to look at. Um, I don't like being behind when we get to the halfway point and um, last week and this week we were behind so um, but kudos to the folks that followed and um, horsemanship and on the flat and they got the job done and helped us to to come out with the win so uh, you know I'm just so thankful that it didn't pour down rain today um, I, you know and, and kudos to everybody the the, the staff at USC, um, the TCU, our officials, everyone got it together and got here early and um, we were able to get this done before we are presumably having a monsoon. So that was great. In their season opener last week at SMU, TCU's reigning team is the group that won that meet over the Mustangs on the road. Today they looked far from the number eight team in the country, jumping out to a 4-1 win in reigning. Your sophomore Bailey Walters won her point. She's now 2-0 on the season. When you look at the group as a whole, but especially her with her second point in as many meets after not getting a lot of action in the spring, how are you feeling about her and your reigning team? Well, I certainly think Bailey did a great job today, and she did a great job yesterday. I mean, yesterday, excuse me, last week and that was that's just one of the things that she's following the directions of coach Sorrell um, who's trying to get her to get out there and really show and I think she's done it two weeks in a row she's had difficult horses to ride and she's managed them quite well I think we honestly we made way too many mistakes in reigning um, the the it, it, I mean to me it was very evident that TCU had the better reigning team today and um, and they did a beautiful job on our horses. So um, kudos to them. I think we're going to, Ruth is already ready to get our girls back in gear a little bit and, and working on them, getting a little bit better so that we're more prepared for Auburn. Down to the jumping, you ended up winning the event three to two. Uh, Sydney Smith, Samantha Smith, Samantha Krause all won their point. Uh, when you look at that group, obviously that is a group of veterans. They all have experience at nationals. They all have a lot of experience in this lineup over the last couple of seasons. When you look at the three of them, especially as you get ready to enter SEC play, how important do you think that trio will be for you? Well, I think they're critical to us. Um, I think their experience is what is going to help the younger ones get more experience and get more comfortable with what they're doing. I think, um, you know, we again, we had some folks in there for the first time. I think Maddie Butehorn did an excellent job. Um, this was her first time competing. Um, and so I, I and Nora, we're still working with Nora Jodry. I, I, I wasn't totally disappointed with her ride. So I think we're getting there, but I do think the jumping is a little bit of an evolving process. And um, I know Coach Dobbs was is probably pretty happy with how they did, but it still see some ways that we can we can ride a little bit better. At the halfway point, you trailed six to four. At that juncture, having seen your flat team sweep last week on the road, but then on the other side of it, see your horsemanship team not win a point on the road last week. How did you feel entering the second half of the meet? Well, I, you know, I can't say that I was I thought, oh gosh, we're not going to get this. Um, the one thing I did know is the uh, horsemanship team went home mad last week, and um, it's there's nothing better than a team that gets a little mad at you know maybe the way they rode, um, the way you know the way the ball bounced last week and things like that. So I think when they came home, they really realized that you know it wasn't going to be a shoe in. I think they worked very hard this week, and it showed as to how well they performed. I was pleased, very pleased with them, and I think on the hunt seat side. Um, you know, we had some bumps along the way this past week, but as a whole, I think our girls got out there and again, got the job done when we needed them to get the job done. And I think the ones that didn't um, get the job done are just ones that um, just need a little bit more mileage. You won the second half of the meet seven to two in horsemanship. It was a 4-0 shutout. Abigail Pate won her point. Ashley Reichert, her first point as a Gamecock. Uh, Bailey Musieski, a win for her, and then Madison Thiel and her debut as a Gamecock was named MOP. Um, just talk about your horsemanship group. Well, they were phenomenal today, and that's what we've been looking for out of them. 
I know Coach Sorrell has been looking for that. And, you know, when you, uh, again, it's, it's getting them firing on all four cylinders. If they're all out there um, working hard and being a good unit, then they're going to be successful. And, you know, kudos to um, Maddie Thiel, her first uh, competition start. I, uh, you know, a freshman, and she goes in there and slams the door and, and gets MOP. So I, I, I'm very pleased with how well we've got great leadership on the horsemanship side, and we're very deep on the horsemanship side. So I think that's going to be something that's going to help us in the long run. In the flat ring, your team won three to two. Uh, Samantha Smith finished another two for two day for her. She's four and zero on the season, earned MOP her second of the season. Uh, Sammy Kay with a win. Uh, Raleigh Baccarat won her second career point and her second start. Uh, when you look at your flat group as a whole, the way they performed last week and then today at home, how do you feel about all those folks? Well, you know, you certainly want them to do better on our horses, but I almost think that um, some of them, um, we 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 had some issues. Here and there this week, we had a horse that was a little difficult today that um, we weren't real. We didn't really realize he was going to be as difficult as he was, and this was his first time doing a competition. Um, so with him, it's you know we're going to go back to the drawing board a little bit with him. Um, I, I you know it's pretty difficult to when you're expecting a horse to perform one way and then you get on them and they're just something totally different. Um, I think that is a is something that we've got to address with frankly with the horse a little bit. And then I you know I think that the 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 ones that won. Um, got in there and, and got the job done. And the ones that didn't win, I wasn't really totally disappointed with them. I've just, you know, they just need to, they're new and they just need to get out there and do it more. Thrilled to death with Raleigh. She did a fantastic job um, on a horse that was a little fired up and she got out there and kind of put him to sleep and was thrilled with her. And certainly you can't say enough about Sam Smith and Sammy Krause. So, uh, you know, as a whole, I'm pleased. Do we need to get better? Yes. But am I happy with where we are right now? Yes. Begin SEC play on next Friday against Auburn. Looking at their roster, I suspect you would like to have another week of practice than the week that you have. But with that said, on a short week of practice, what are some things you'll be working on this week? Well, we really were concentrating, well, maybe the patterns, because we haven't done any of them for next week. Um, so that's one of the things that we really are going to be concentrating on, frankly, is just trying to um, get more familiar with the patterns, whether it's raining or horsemanship or equitation on the flat or the jump course. It's, again, it's a short week. Um, it, we are going to have a nice long weekend. I'm sure some of the girls will be right back out here on Sunday riding just to, you know, get a little bit of extra riding time in. But um, I think that, that the main part is just to everybody take a breath and we've gotten through um, an away meet and a home meet and now we're going to start SEC play. So it's, it's a whole other ball game next week. So we're, we're looking forward to Auburn, to hosting Auburn here. Um, I'm sure they're going to give us everything they could possibly give us. Um, but hopefully we'll be ready to go and, and have a good showing next week. Six years in a row, the Gamecocks have not lost a home meet during the month of September. Coach, congratulations on the win. We'll see you this week at practice. Great. Thanks, Corey.